And I'm going to refresh my YouTube and check in with everybody and see you all's in there. I know Myra's here. Thanks for joining us, Myra. And if anybody's in the chat and they're working on something too, just say hello and let us know what your what your project is today. I got Kathleen here with me. You can say Hi. hello, Kathleen. Hi. What you working on today, Kathleen? I'm working on Jennifer's bracelets. All right. Yeah, you got to order from Jennifer to make some bracelets. Yeah, but they're not normally for sale. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, if I can relocate some of these because these are hard to find. The hashy, mm -hmm. you know, the shells. Are, mm. I looked around at the gym show for some hashy beads, and I mean, I didn't see a whole lot there. Yeah. But she was telling me that that wasn't a usual thing. Like, there's usually more vendors there than that that were that time. I guess because of, you know the situation right now. Yeah. We got five people watching. Hey, guys, who's here? Oh, <laughs> no, Myra, it's not a chocolate cake. Hi, Patty. How are you? See, normally I make them three-tier out of um, diapers, and I'll show you what I do with the diapers and everything. And then I usually, you know, wrap them with the, uh, the receiving blankets and then put ribbon, and then I tuck little baby products in them and that kind of thing. But this time my cousin requested that I'm doing gender neutral, that she's not going to know what the baby's sex is until it's born. So they were telling me that they were doing like a stork theme and everything like that. And so my aunt showed me the napkins and cups and plates and things. And I saw like, I couldn't find anything with a stork on it, to be honest. And uh, I saw that the writing was in like rainbow colors. And I was like, okay, what if I just go with like rainbow kind of theme? And then I looked up on Pinterest um, the idea of doing like a hot air balloon when you use a basket. And I've got these dowel rods, which I have not cut. I may have to ask Tyrone to go cut those for me real quick. <laughs> um, and then you put those onto the basket and you put the, uh, you use these right here the uh cute. yeah the little party um paper lanterns and that's mm -hmm. the hot air balloon and then you glue it to the stick so it looks like a you know a hot air balloon basket and everything and then pretty much i guess everything's gonna go kind of in the basket um instead of buying the receiving blankets this time i bought like like a nice soft you know swaddling type blanket and so, um, yeah, and you can see it's got the rainbows and kind of a soft pastel -y colors and stuff. And I just kind of went with a rainbow theme. Found a little unicorn toy thing <laughs> to put in there. And since he had kind of like a blue going on on him too, I thought maybe this will work for either or because it's just kind of all colors and stuff. Yeah. I mean, to know them, they have all girls. They never have a boy, so... It's probably going to be a girl anyway. Hi, Clarissa. How are you? And also, um, I got in this glue gun off of Amazon. I had someone contact me and wanted me to do a review. Where did I put the box? Let me find the box, and I'll show you the box. Sorry about my behind being in the camera if it showed up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> They come in it's Monvict full size hot glue gun. You can find these on Amazon, and I will link uh, the the link on Amazon. And the purpose of this one is what I thought was kind of cool about it, so I agreed to do it. Was the fact that you let it heat up, and then you can take the cord out, and it will continue to work without the cord and be cordless. Has a little on and off switch there. A little indicator light to let you know it's on. I haven't put any glue guns, I mean, hot glue sticks in there yet. I'm letting it heat up because it said the longer you let it warm up, the longer it will last off the plug. So, hi, Jamie. Thanks for joining. Hi, Angie. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And like I said, by the end of it, as I work with the glue gun, I'll give you all my like it or not, don't like it kind of thing. 
And let's see, I got to grab all this stuff I got in over here. And I'm winging it because I had, I just went and got this stuff today. I got some spoons to go in there. I got these little neutral colored, uh, little baby, terry cloth baby uh, wash rags, washcloth. In the South, we call them rags. We call everything a rag. Um, this little pom-pom garland. That was at Target, I think. Mostly I went to TJ Maxx, Target, and um, Dollar Tree. Got one of those. I always go with these like little travel size things because they're smaller and easier to attach. Hi, Carla. Thanks for joining. And if I didn't say hi, Clarissa, hi. I found this at Target. This is a little pouch that contains a little bag, you know, for her to like just throw stuff in, baby stuff in, I guess. And because it had the rainbow, I did that. And if y'all didn't see the little unicorny toy thing, I found that. I usually buy a whole pack of diapers. So I got some size two diapers over there. And I'll show y'all how I roll those up and everything. But I'm going to start with the basket. I need to grab a pair of... Got to grab a pair of scissors. I didn't have everything ready. I'm trying to get all this done because I've got something... I'm going to work on the bus tomorrow. Oh. And I've got um, another video I've got to edit tomorrow or tomorrow night probably for the gemstones that I picked up at the gym show with Lisa. go pick off all the tags so tj maxx a little 5.99 woven basket with handles so after she takes everything apart she can put all the supplies in there and use that the dowel rods where did i put those i know i brought those over here didn't i oh and the hot glue gun there's a little card that came with it also comes with your little finger rubber finger protectors and a bag of glue sticks already so i'm going to go ahead and put one of these in here i hope it doesn't start dripping everywhere i'm at my crystal table set up right now working so i don't want to get anything all over my tablecloth if i can help it through it's smoking from the tip <laughs> I have a feeling this one's going to be super, super hot. I had upgraded my other like cheapy one that I had and I had gotten a better one. And that one was, you know, a hot one. I wasn't used to it. And, I, and I'm glad this one has the little finger things because I was burning my fingers off. Yeah, some people, some of them are really, really hot. Yeah. You can go buy the cooler ones. There's different. Love Ross and TJ Maxx. Yeah, they're great stores. For, I mean, you honestly can go to Ross or TJ Maxx. I'm going to put one of these on, too. You can go to Ross and TJ Maxx and do better than you can at Walmart and places like that sometimes and Target. Oh, yeah. That fits snug on my finger, so I don't have to worry about that one. That's usually the one I use when I touch the glue. Okay. So I got the basket. What I normally do is I sit here and put all the stuff in there and see what's going to fit where. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. And then I'll give you all an idea and show you. Take all the tags off of everything. Got to do that. This is just a hangout craft and let me do the review that I needed to do. Like I said, trying to cram a lot of things in one thing. How's everybody doing tonight? Anybody crafting too? Or working on anything? Listing? You've been busy as well, haven't you, Kathleen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so y'all got some housework going on, some new windows. Yeah, we're getting new windows in, so finally... That's awesome. It covered all the fleas and the spiders and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, it is a battle because we have the animals, you know. Oh, yes. We live in the, uh, like, you know, semi-wooded area. So, yeah, spiders get in and all kinds of stuff. 
the making of uh, my pepperonia plant babies pepperonia you'll have to send me a picture of that jamie i'm not sure what a pepperonia pepperonia is is it a flower Do you know Kathleen? Mm -mm, no, I was just thinking what I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go easy on gardening this year. I think I'm gonna install a lot more fruit trees, but I'm not gonna go heavy on the garden like vegetables and stuff. Because I when I do that, I I end up spending more time working on that, worrying about that. And I need to be spending more time working on that bus. So I'm just going to put in some fruit trees around the property because I've been trying to build up my fruit trees. Let's see. That'll go in there. I'm so random about how I pick up stuff too. I go from one store to the next store to the next store. Then I have to go out to my car, look at everything that I have and say, does this all go together? Does this make sense? <laughs> What colors did I pick out? Because like Dollar Tree was the last place that I went. Mm -hmm. So I had to go look at everything I had and say, well, what color ribbon? Because that's what I was going to get, some ribbon and stuff. So what color ribbon do I need? And these little blankets from TJ Maxx come with these really nice wooden and metal hangers. So I'm going to put that down in the basket as well. Yeah. Things on. So that's like a twofer right there. Got to get all these, these little uh, mm -hmm. things out of there. <laughs> I cut the ivy off the freeway overpass. Um, oh, I missed something. Poisonous spiders, large. <laughs> she had two offspring. They are growing like crazy. My ivy is growing roots. I'm very happy. Hi, Perla. I'm going to have to scroll back. It moved so fast all of a sudden. I, they look like little pepperonis. Oh, pep, they look like pepperonis on a stick. Oh, okay. Huh. I'll have to Google that. because yeah, I've never heard of that. <laughs> I'm used to having more than one person, you know. Besides you, you know, usually you three or four people. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of quiet because I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> oh, you talk, you can talk. Let me know when you want to tell me something, show me something. Let's see. Like I said, I'm used to working with the receiving blankets that I wrap around the diaper. So now I've got to come up with, well, what am I going to do with the blanket? Is it going to be on the outside or the inside? I think it's going to be on the inside. <clears throat> Anybody have any suggestions on how I should do the blanket? Should I fold it, roll it? What should I do? The basket's filling up quickly. Yeah, roll it. That's how I feel. When putting it in a basket, how I see a lot of them do it. I got these too. Like I'll stick these maybe around the outside. These cute little swirly suckers. They're called oh, mini bow shouldn't matter what color because the basket's gonna be so color colorful, you know. So yeah. This is gonna add some color to things. Got a bottle brush, you need to get that out of there. And then I gave I got her some hand sanitizer. I went to the like travel section because you can get all these little small mm -hmm. ones there. Some wet ones for sticky fingers and stuff. Little small travel size. Baby wipes. Some of these. I noticed that most of her other kids used some of those kind of pacifiers. So, uh, so I got those. Little spray Lysol thing. I may have bought too many things, but that's okay because she also needs me to do a wreath that she can hang on the hospital door. So if some of this stuff doesn't fit, then I'll incorporate it into that. I forgot pearls have really small holes. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like cram, trying to cram this wire and it won't go. 
Yeah, Perla has some beautiful pictures of um, vintage finds that she gets at the thrift store. And if you follow her on TikTok or her Instagram, it's some cute, very feminine, pretty stuff. I love looking at her stuff. I'm going to take that bottle brush out of the thing. Just tell them, chunk and trash over here. Sure sure. Hmm? I was telling somebody hi in there. Oh. You're too sweet, Perla. <laughs> <laughs> she might not get a pearl. <laughs> I can't find my... Um, Are you using glass pearls or fresh no, water? No, that's a real pearl. <laughs> oh, okay. And I don't drill them, you know, very good. These are the ribbons that I'm going with, like this neutral color here. And then I pulled that color. Look at me. I'm backwards. It looks like velvety looking, huh? Yeah, it's like a shimmery, satiny one. And it the color is in that blanket. So I was trying to keep with that. So these will go around the outside of the basket. Um, yeah, I'm taking, I'm taking most of this stuff out of its package. So I just like the way it looks loose. You're welcome. You're doing a review on the on the um, hot gun, the glue gun, right? Yep. By the end of the thing, I'll let y'all know whether I like it or I don't like it and how long it'll actually last off of the plug because they said it's supposed to, you know, last for a little while off the plug. Yeah. To make it cordless or whatever. So, yeah, we'll see how that works out. See if it's all, all they say it is. I left him a review on Amazon already because it took me a little while to do this video, but I was waiting to do this video when I had to do the cake because the party's this weekend, so baby shower. I do reviews all the time, but nobody's ever asked me to. I just do because I'm like, you better send me something good. I'm going to do a review. <laughs> <laughs> they just contact me randomly, usually in emails. That's how the BB Craft bead one was. <laughs> And I just, you know, if it's something that I think that I could do something with, then, then I'll do it. Yeah, I'm going to take the, take this out of the package too. April knows I'm a big joke, so. <laughs> yeah, Kathleen just likes to joke. That may not be funny, but. <laughs> you got me cracking up sometimes. That's for sure. Don't take me too seriously. Soft tip spoons, gentle on the gums. These are difficult to get into. So is medicine. When you're really sick and need it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Childproof caps and everything. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I went with those because they're rainbow colored as well. All right, and everything's all in my way. Now what? <laughs> now what do I do? I think I need to work on the outside. I don't know that all this, like I said, I don't know that all this stuff's going to fit in there. But the things that I would leave out would be like the smaller stuff that I put on the wreath if I don't get all this in here. Let me set these to the side. And let's work with this glue gun and see how it's going to do. I stamped your initials on this. I uh, probably could put mine, but I'm going to put. Oops, there's the camera. <laughs> Hers oh, on one. Your little tags. Huh? Yeah, your little tags that mm -hmm. you make for your jewelry. Mm hmm. That put her initials on, and it's going to go on the. It's stretchy. Well, both of them are stretchy. But it's going to go on this one. And then this one, I think I'll stamp one and put my initials on it because I made them. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would do. Put my initials but on there. Can, my branding. Stack them. I've gotten really good with stretchy, y'all. So. I, I know I didn't have my camera set up where y'all could see me, but that was a lot of work to do that. Let's see. We got a garland. The 
And I never want y'all to see me, so mine's always set up like this. Because I, I don't want anybody to see me. <laughs> Since it was like a hangout, too, I was like, you know, at least I can we can look and talk. Um, I guess I need to band up some diapers, too. Yeah, I think I do want to put them on the outside of the basket. Because then that lets you know that that's what this is supposed to be, a diaper cake. I think a, a couple of cakes ago they asked me, can you do the one that looks like, it's like, looks like a like truck or a four-wheeler or something where you have to put the little wheels on it and all that? And I was like, I've never done those before, but I realize now it's not that difficult. You just make smaller circles and then you stick dowel rods through them like the axle and then you set something like this or or you can use like uh the bigger plastic tubs of baby wipes mm -hmm. and that makes like the body of the vehicle so it's not that hard but i just i didn't know i'd never tried it like that before look at that they smell so good too i miss having a baby Oh, the baby smell good and cute stuff. Yeah. Oh, I remember what love smell like because that's what my kids always smell like. Like love. Yeah. <laughs> Where did I put the rubber bands? I know I have a big old bag of rubber bands somewhere. By the giant bag of rubber bands no, no, I grabbed them from over there so what did I do oh here they are now those big bags of rubber bands for these hi Dwayne hi Dwayne <laughs> yeah well they smell good right after you give them a bath and put lotion on them before they poop and pee. They smell good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling better, Dwayne? Hug <laughs> babies. <laughs> Got to chat with chat with Heather a little bit um, on um, Pixie. Uh, what's, what's it? Shamrock Pixie's um, YouTube channel last night. So yeah, I take them and I roll them up. And I band them like this. So yeah. you like you want to tuck in that end mm -hmm. and you want to roll them to hide that end and get them as tight as you can and roll them up like that and then just rubber band them in the middle. And then when you go around them with the ribbon, you cover the rubber band so that you don't see the rubber band. I'm still ornery. Yeah, that's what she said. She said, you know. Y'all had the COVID grumps. That's what I called it, the COVID grumps. Which is understandable when you don't feel good and you've been through all that. Yeah, they've got different little animals. This one has little fox on it. Working on a motorcycle, Dwayne. <laughs> I'm sure he hadn't been able to do that in a little while. They've all been sick. Yeah. But I seen him Saturday night. He was on game show. Oh, I was he? Cycles. Yes, he was. He was the cake for, he says. <laughs> oh, it's for my cousin, the one that has lots of children. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she watches my YouTube videos, but... No hard feelings. <laughs> I keep telling her, girl, it's time to stop and, and live for you. <laughs> stop having all these babies. She's the oldest of the three. And uh, her, her older brother, which is, you know, younger than her, but the oldest of the two, he has um, three, <clears throat> he has three biological children and two two uh, stepchildren, and then her younger brother, they only have one daughter. But they all end up having girls. They never end up having boys. But I think that's why they want to leave the anticipation 
this time because they they really do want to have a boy me i had two boys one girl oh uh, what are you talking about Dwayne? what are you talking about in my chat <laughs> <laughs> this is it's not even 10 o'clock so this ain't no late night show <laughs> <clears throat> i got a new ring today did i show it to you i thought i seen something on your finger there it's moonstone look at you yeah was that tj tonight it was at TJ Maxx. I couldn't pass that up for $24.99. See, and where am I tonight? Ooh, we Moonstone twins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's cool, too. It's got that leaf design, and then the band has, like, a texture, like, kind of like a bark on a tree or something. Oh. On the band. It's real cool. I like it. And it happened to be my size, so it had to come home with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can't leave that behind oh this that is how people make babies just wanting just warning me <laughs> well i've had three i know how that works <laughs> <laughs> oh Dwayne, Dwayne. he's hilarious I don't know if I'm going to need this whole pack, but I don't know what's going on with the stores, but like at Target, and this happened at Walmart when I was down in the Valley, and me and Haley went to Walmart, um, the shelves are like so empty. The stores are such a mess. Their stuff is like laying everywhere, all over the place, and you can't find an employee anywhere. And it's like, did people just quit or people what happened? to work? Maybe they are because, like, with the diapers, there were well, only several like, reasons, you know. I mean, just not just one. But yeah, there was like only a couple size of the, like regular packages. The rest of the things on the shelf were those huge like boxes of diapers, and I'm like, I don't need that many diapers. So I that's why I ended up having to go with a size two. I normally do either newborn or ones because they're smaller. And easier to roll, but I had to go with the size two. Mm -hmm. Got to keep you ladies on your toes. You never know what I will say. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. But yeah, Walmart down there in the valley, I got to Casey's house and I told him, I was like, your Walmart is like apocalyptic. I said, it's a mess. Yeah. I've never seen it so bad. And I mean, I, I used to shop that store all the time and it was well kept and well stocked, but that's the old days, <laughs> right? I'm just changed. <laughs> I wonder if their back room is just full of inventory, but nobody's there to put it on the shelf <laughs> because I know that, you know, those operating systems now, as they scan things, it orders it for them. So they're getting stuff in. There's just nobody putting it on the shelf and then nobody cleaning up the aisles like the home department and stuff. Everything was practically laying in the floor and not on the shelf. Yeah. Myra yeah. said, Dwayne, some of these ladies have to have your wife's number <laughs> or have your wife's number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're two peas in a pod. I'm sure there's nothing he can say that she wouldn't even say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a mess. <laughs> She's a fun mess. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't talked to her in a while. What are you saying? Yeah, I messaged with her uh, recently and stuff, but I know she hadn't really been up to like video chatting and talking or anything. Man, I am like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having such good luck over here. What? Are you having trouble with the pearls beading on? Yeah, I just can't. Usually I don't have no problems with water wrapping, but I am tonight.
<laughs> oh, Mildred's eyes watching me. <laughs> and I've got some other projects I'm going to be working on too with the crystals and stuff like that and I'm going to put them in my crystal cells but I'm also going to try them out in my booth see how they do I'll show you a couple of things um, when we end the the live tonight because I'm gonna keep them secret till I get them done because I, I want to see how they're gonna turn out. <laughs> so we still got seven people watching. Thanks for joining us, guys. Did some people leave? I think so because I think we had a little bit more, maybe even ten at one point. There's some options going on too, so maybe they're back and forth or whatever. Boring, I guess. <laughs> we'll let y'all give you your money to us if you want to. So. <laughs> Liven it up. <laughs> yeah. I'm just rolling diapers. I know that's not too exciting right at the moment. <clears throat> but we'll move on past that as soon as I get enough of them rolled up. I, I invited some people from that that group that just crafts they go on there sometimes up to eight hours just crafting and not telling us and not really doing anything inside and just sitting there laughing and cracking up and crafting oh yeah live crafting yeah uh -huh. is that one of the ones you've sent me the link to mm -hmm. okay you know i'm bad about like catching stuff half the time but I'll figure it out and I'll eventually catch up with some of them. I have checked out that guy that you were talking about that makes jewelry and stuff. I have watched a little bit of his here and there. Yeah, he's kind of, kind of weird, but entertaining. His, his style is different. Yeah. The same <laughs> I scared them off. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't scare them. <laughs> nah. <laughs> They're just probably like, oh, well. It's not that exciting. <laughs> I don't know. They may be over there buying jewelry somewhere. <laughs> I'm glad to just hang out. I need a break from the auctions. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I can't be at every auction all the time or I'll spend all my money and I won't have any profits. <laughs> you can watch us and be bored and save your money. <laughs> <laughs> And other than that, I also um, have so many other things going on in the background. Got the booth to tend to. So I've been going there every Monday and updating on that. Um, like I said, tomorrow's work on the bus day. So I'll film a little bit of whatever we get done tomorrow. My brother's helping me with that. Um, and eventually I'll get around to posting on that channel and putting up the, the second video because <laughs> there's only the one intro video up there right now yeah, I, I figured it was kind things. of better to just get the things done and then post them you know because they'll all be done and then just post them one a week or something like that so you're all caught up and to it and and once i get to that point then it would be like videoing the adventures or whatever that I take in the bus. I do sell things if somebody's serious about buying them, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk to Kathleen if you want some uh, handmade jewelry. Mm -hmm. She posts on her Facebook all the time the kind of things that she does. Were, were those grad picks or dance picks of your daughter? That was her prom, junior prom. Yeah, we had that too. So I had that uh, just a few days ago. Did you see your cute little boyfriend? It was so sweet. Yeah, oh, that was her boy. I was, oh, yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, she's been dating him now, I guess, a couple of months, he's two, three cute. months. And he's sweet. At least he, he plays sweet in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm he better. Yeah, he better be nice to you. When it can't be sweet in front of you, that's really bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Dwayne. Yeah, that was the dress that we bought for her that last time that she was dating this other guy and it was his prom she was supposed to go to. And then he dumped her and everything and Aww. took my friend's niece to the prom and started dating her. Uh -oh. After I spent all that money on all that stuff. And I'm trying to remember who it was that sent Haley that handbag. She sent her a handbag. It's, it's a beautiful rhinestone vintage handbag. Um, and she used it. She loved it. She used it at the prom. But I forget. It was so long ago now. I forgot who sent it to her. But I hope she got to see the pictures. Yeah, you got a lot of pictures. I uh, clicked on over to Instagram and I started seeing pictures I didn't see on Facebook. Yeah, um, I post, I was going ham with those pictures. I took so many pictures. <laughs> and then she sent me some of the professional ones that were taken. And then I posted those up as like my profile and my, my backdrop picture on Facebook. And then she took a couple with her friends and stuff in a little video clip when they were in the prom. They had it at the, I guess it's the old coca-cola bottling company down in downtown opelika that one's finished mm -hmm. and the pictures that we took were in downtown opelika by their <clears throat> over in front of their courthouse that's where that water fountain was that we were taking the pictures at and everything almost got all these diapers rolled up i didn't even count how many that look okay in that pack. Oh, that's so cute. Is that what she was asking for? Was turtles? Yeah, she wanted no, the turtles. I love the color together mm -hmm. too. Those colors are so pretty. I love those pink beads. Yeah. <laughs> I want to support <laughs> them because they're going quick, you know, with the bracelets I made and made Aunt Sally. This is like a replica of the one I made Aunt Sally, except for okay. this is a uh, highlight instead of using a, the, the turquoise yeah so it brought the price down however those are those filled beads mm -hmm. so, and then uh, i'm using these to not take up so much room uh, of the of, of this so i can cut the price down for her until i can find a supply of these shishis i can't offer anybody them for right now because i've looked everywhere for them and i can't find them and they're their natural uh, melon shell, Pacific melon shell hishis. Uh, they got all kinds of uh, pin. It's what they call pin hishis, which is a black shell. Mm -hmm. And they're different names of shells, but not the not this natural color. This is absolutely beautiful. To me, it's a good grade of a hishi. But mm -hmm. I can't buy them. I bought them all out. <laughs> Where I wasn't getting them from. And it's the guy right. <laughs> That's the issue with buying unique beads that, you know, you buy the unique beads and then they're gone. Like some people make, you know, those glass blown beads like on Etsy and stuff. Those are handmade and they only make a limited amount and then they move on to a different design. Those may be the only beads you ever get of those kinds. Yeah, where I get these, these like this right here. Mm -hmm. like, right here. This is like... Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what I mean, like really unique beads like that. That's so cool. It's like a wave. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I packed as many as I could get into the basket like that. Oh, that looks nice. That is so cool. Yes. And so probably this, all the other stuff's just going to kind of stick in there and set on top. Mm -hmm. Here comes the part where I, ha I do have some leftover diapers. What I usually do with the leftover ones is I stick them in a little gift bag and just hand them to her to the side, you know, and be like, here, here's the extra diapers. But I got to go cut those sticks because I didn't cut those sticks first. I forgot to cut them. What are you doing? They are very nice. <laughs> Oh, here they are. So they were just at Michael's, the some, you know, dowel rods. I don't know how long I want them. Let's see. 
I think. Let me open up the lantern and see how big the lantern looks. That'll give me a better idea of how long I want the little sticks to be. I hope these are user friendly and I can assemble them easily. <laughs> Where is uh, Heather right now? Is she sitting there with you? Y'all in bed? Just watch. Yeah. Say hi to Heather. Yeah, say hi to her if you're there with her. Yeah. So it's got some strings. What are the strings for? <laughs> I don't know what they're for. Okay. Yeah. And I guess these hold them open. I told Jennifer we were going to be on here. I was going to be doing her bracelets. Oh, yeah, for her to come check it out. Mm -hmm. She was in Barbie's auction earlier. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if she was in there or not when I left. I didn't even get a chance to say bye. I was like, oh, it's getting close to time. I need to get this done. So if I remember, because I used to have a set of string lights that had these little paper lanterns. I think you stick the prongs in there to open them up. But that's not wide enough. Oh, my copper rings work. When my thumbs get to hurting, I put these on. It's almost like, you know, when you put the magnets uh, backwards to themselves, how it, how it feels where they won't go together. Right. It feels like that when I put them on. It's like a feeling in my thumb. It makes the pain quick. It's a very weird feeling. They, they That's work. awesome. Yeah, if the rest of my hands or anything else hurt, you know, I would just get the bracelet. But it's just my thumbs. It's crazy because I can't hardly pick anything up when that happens. Even glass or something, I'm like, I almost drop stuff when they're hurting bad. So they really helped. That's good. Yeah, I, I like to wear copper rings. I got a couple of them from Mr. Jim, just like you did. Mm -hmm. But um, it's just that reaction that I have to copper. I'm going to have to put some clear polish on them or something. I have a couple of those dowel sticks. I can't remember what I was going to do with them. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that, Myra. I pick up stuff all the time talking about, I'm going to do this with it. And then I find it somewhere and I'm like, why did I buy these? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> You'll tell her to come say hi. Okay, cool. So you got one end that's like that, which is technically the bottom. And then you have the top here where you would normally hang it. But I think that's what I'm going to do is flip it upside down and use that as the bottom right there. So if that sits here and then these, I guess those have to kind of lean in. I use a lot of dial sticks for making uh, paper beads way back when when everybody was making them i need it some more <laughs> I'm gonna mark that right there let me get me a marker and then i'm gonna mark the other one i gotta have four of these i gotta cut them up in four equal <clears throat> I feel like this little finger condom thing or whatever. I was wondering what that was. I, was I think like it's going to make my finger go numb, though. It's. I think I picked the size a little say, bit numb. Why are you wearing a rubber on your finger? <laughs> <laughs> silicone. It's, it, it's to, uh, to keep the hot glue from burning my finger, but I ain't even used the hot glue yet. I just went ahead and put it on ahead of time. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think. I think I got to separate all these different metals. I think they're making each other tarnish. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm going to go cut these to to that link there where I marked it. Okay. Four of them. So I'll leave it up to Kathleen to entertain. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Do -da, do -da. <laughs> well, there went three more people. 
more like scaring them off. Scaring them off. <laughs> Hello, jewelry lovers, strong mind jewelry lovers. What's your name? And welcome to uh, April's channel. <laughs> Gotta go this way. Thought I had it that side, but it's in the garage. Welcome, Sharon. Yeah, it was. We're still having fun, but just kind of lonely in here right now. But we'll go back to have fun. <laughs> Dwayne, where are you? Hi, Kathleen. Good to see you. April just stepped off for a second. She's making and doing all kinds of things. Making stuff and going to do a review a little bit later. And I'm just kind of doing what you would do. Make something. Oh, it's a um, Pacific melon species, and this is highlight, and this is pink conch, and uh, I think this is just like a leftover shell from like the pink conch, and and it also has abalone, dog free. Uh, anyway, yeah, and uh, imperial jasper. And then some turtles. I finished this one stretchy. Somebody requested a stretchy. Yeah, you know, people throw the stretchies aside, but if you put some nice stones in and make it look neat, yeah, I like stretchies, especially when you get older or you don't have anybody to help you put on bracelets. Okay, I made it back. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Strong Minds Jewelry, Sharon. Okay, mm -hmm. nice to meet you, Sharon. Not sure if I've seen you in my chat before or not. No, she says she's new. Dowel rods, that's what I did. <laughs> Dwayne said you're going to go get Heather, but he hasn't come back. Can't come back. Mm -hmm. He's probably hanging around somewhere. He's flipping through channels too, probably. I am making a hot air balloon diaper cake. So I've got the basket. I've already rolled my diapers and rubber banded them. I've got this here. Let me do it this way. Put me a little bit bigger and put you on the side there, but we can still see That's what you're fine, doing. Yes. Okay, there we go. So here's the basket with the diapers. Here's the paper lantern for the hot air balloon. And I just had to cut the dowel rods that are going to go in each corner of the basket and hold the, you know, the balloon part up. And I'm also reviewing a hot glue gun from Amazon that i'm trying out and it's one where you plug it in let it heat up then you can remove the cord and it's supposed to last for a while off the cord cordless 
and the theme is kind of like a gender neutral um rainbow kind of theme that's what i kind of came up with so now i'm going to start figuring out the configuration of these sticks and how i'm going to put them in here see luckily these diapers being down in here is going to hold my sticks so i don't have to glue it i hope i won't have to glue it to the basket i'll only have to glue it to the balloon part and i'm going to try to tilt them inward on themselves I might not even have to glue it to the balloon part. The, the uh, tension itself might hold them all in there. Let's see. It does. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. But it wants to slide a little bit. So let's see. I'm going to put it down a little bit further. And yeah, this is the first time I've done one of these, but I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I may have to do something to keep that steady, but yeah, that's cute. It worked out. Oh, Yeah, let's see about putting, here we go. We're going to test the glue gun. I'm going to take it off the cord. Dab some glue here. <laughs> It's just puffing smoke right now. Oh yeah, I'm talking about the way it's made. That's that's the good kind of guns. I mm -hmm. hope so. No, we either gray with a yellow tip or a green tip or the blue tip like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, I didn't. Know. I'm not an expert. For the longest time, with my little crafting habits, I had found one of those really cheap mini ones. That's what that, I use. <laughs> probably came from like dollar general or something but i bought it at goodwill and i was excited because i only paid like dollar 99 or something like that for it and i got it at goodwill and i used it for years i still have it actually it's the one i let the kids use so they don't mess up my other ones because <laughs> now i have this one and that other one that i bought but it's not cordless oh that's a lot <laughs> okay i didn't know when it was gonna finally get out of there you may need to sit down on the side because you're going to slide it down the side too, right? Yeah, it's like kind of running down the tip of here, so it should catch on the sides too. Just hope it doesn't cool off completely before I can get the balloon back on top of it. Y'all can kind of see what I'm doing, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to stick that one, that one. That one, oh, go on this side. Get that one in there. And then I've got glue dangling. I'll grab those. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's going to need, gonna need some glue further down. Because, yeah, it's, I'm going to have to. Should run it through the glue. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how that's going to work. Ah, well, at least I got two more of these if I mess this one up. Did you read what Buying Space said? I didn't. You know, you can, she said there's a way you can add a link to where they can, uh, you know, they could buy the gun and it could make a, make you, make you, a, I guess, some money on the side or something. I'm not sure. I've never done that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put the link below, but that's because I was asked to do this. I got the gun for free oh, okay. to do the review. But um, I don't have like an Amazon um, affiliate thing. I was thinking about doing that because if you have an Amazon affiliate link, then any of the items that I use and you decide to purchase, I get, I guess I can earn, you know certain things from that so i'm noticing now that it's been off of that for just a minute it's still working who's it by it kind of seems like it's it's not as hot or something did i get myself in too deep with this idea yeah <laughs> 
I can just get two sides to stick. Then I could probably work on the other two sides. Oh, that just dripped onto the diaper. I was going to say, don't drop them on the diaper, but I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to jinx you. That's what the finger <laughs> thing's for. Catch it and pick it up. <laughs> I wonder if that I got that it might happen then. It's okay. Luckily, it comes right off the little diaper pretty oh, easily. Pull it, and it just came right off, so it didn't mess up any diapers. I haven't, uh, except for with, well, no. I've you I've uh, done the BB Crafts review video, and I had their link in there where you can save a certain percent because they, if you. Uh, if you use the link that I shared in there, you save a certain percent. So I have that one. That's for like beads and jewelry making, craft supply stuff. It's called bbcrafts.com. There's a video on my channel for that one. You can use that code that's in there. I have shared some of those codes, I think, in other videos too, because they'll send me emails. Now oh, that's won wonky. I got to fix it. <laughs> Gotta get it straightened up. It needs to be a little bit higher up. That's what that one. It's okay. Let's see. Uh, there's that one. And let's see. That one. I have to hide that with like some ribbon or something. That little glob of glue. No, be wonky. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let it sit there for a second. See if it dries and it holds. How are you going to carry it? Just very carefully. <laughs> Well, once this dries, it'll, yeah, it should be okay then, right? Yeah, it'll be in place. Sometimes I would take like the three layer ones that I would do, I'd take them in pieces and then just stack them on top of each other when I got there. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Um, You found it after you said it. <laughs> but yeah, I will share... Um, the link for this gun and I don't know, I'll, I'll check back with them and see once I've sent them the video, cause they want to see it too, that I did the review for it. Then we'll see if they, um, they send any kind of codes for, um, a discount on these. I think they were like $30 maybe or 25. I can't even remember. You've been busy today though. Yeah, doing this I, I spent hours searching for all the supplies for this earlier today. There we go. Did I miss any? Hi, Heather. What? Hi, Heather. How you doing? We know you're not doing too good. We hope you get better. So we got this basket there. And the hot air balloon part there. Let's do some more touch-ups over here. See if we can get a better hold. This one. That string's a lot. Stringy, stringy. A little bit more there. Like I said, I might be able to hide this with like some little bow ribbons or something right there. So you won't even see the like glue. Lest my aunt told my cousin this is going to be a surprise. She's not going to know what it looks like. It was just me and my aunt coming up with plan for things. She said she thinks she'll really like it. They usually like the ones I make. You make some cute stuff, I think. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I'm doing good. Kathleen, she said, how are we doing? I'm doing okay. 
Mm -hmm. I'm getting around a lot better. You know, I had that fall a few months ago. Had the straps, but I'm good now. Yeah, it's still working working well off the uh, plug. Fluid. And What's the brand again? I don't know where to put that box. It's called Mon Monvict. Hmm. Full size hot glue gun. 80 and 120 watt voltage, 110, 240. It didn't come with any. It didn't come with any other booklet or anything. Just that little card that it came with. What well, that's Amazon or yeah, it? it's on Amazon. And once you know, we end everything, and I can go back. I can add the link and all that stuff to it. And it's not heavy. It's lightweight. It's got a nice wide grip for it. And like I said, I like the fact that it has a more narrow point than some of the other ones that I've used. Yeah, I don't, oh, I guess the strings are for hanging when you want to hang them. I won't be hanging this one. So it's um, more like a rechargeable instead of just a, a plug-in one, right? So you charge it up and it'll still go in for a while? Or still yeah, start? basically, yeah, like That's that. That's just cool. plug it in, let it get hot and good, and then take it off the cord and do your thing. Yeah, that's a pain. That's a real pain. Whenever you have to keep it plugged in and dragging it all across your stuff you're trying to work on, that's going to be really nice. I, was, I could see where that would become a good seller. Right. Mm hmm So now, let's take this garland and see about gluing it onto the um, balloon. The pom-pom garland. Anything made by hand is much better than bought because the time effort love. That's true, Kathleen. Plus, it makes it very original, too, and it's unique to the person. No two alike when it's handmade. <laughs> no matter so how hard I try to make two alike, I can't do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're just similar. I think I'm going to swag them around the balloon I forget who it was that I was talking to at one point that told me that oh that's a cool thing that you like that, that I do these and they were like you should do a video on them because I think people would be interested in how to make them and I was like oh okay yeah that's a good idea I can do that next time yeah uh, a DIY video See, now that I took the little finger thing off, I better put it back on and burn myself. When people are watching videos and they're shorter, you know, because they don't take a long time to watch. And right. Get a lot of views off them. Well, they can always take this one and skip through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they wanted to. It's like with TikTok. You have to be real quick with like a, I don't yeah. even know how long 60 second or something like that video you have to do them really quickly it look like an advertisement instead of it <laughs> some of those people can show you how to make stuff in that short amount of time and i'm like not me well, probably only if you know how to edit i don't know how to edit yeah it's a i think it is i think it's a lot about knowing how to edit it so that um so that you can shorten it down mm-hmm I get to feel an awkward anyway, so my videos ain't long anyway because of the awkward feelings I get. Yeah. Uh, use a string to hang up. Oh, that's a cool idea. Um, I've got some paper. Oh, I've got some other things that I had bought the other day. Oh, my goodness. I've got some of the little plastic baby clip pen, uh, safety pin, plastic safety pins in different colors. I could hang something like that. So I don't know about these. I don't know if they would hang, but maybe they would if I hung them from that. But I didn't want to take these out of the package. Oh, this can hang. This can hang from the middle. Yeah. Like that. That's a good idea. That's what we're going to do. That one's going to hang from the middle. 
Thank you for that. That is a cool idea. You like handmade gifts? Yeah, I do too. I love when my kids make me stuff. Tell them all the time. That's all you got to do. I gave them, when I gave them their Easter baskets, I found these little mini easels with little mini um, canvases on them. And I told them, I said, you know, these are for y'all to make me a Mother's Day gift. I said, it's a little tiny painting that you can do for me. I'll be right back. Let me go grab that other stuff that I had and I forgot that I had. I bought it at Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago. Snap on me. When I first went out to see if if there were um, any stork things that I could buy. And I got these, which <laughs> that's going to work now. We'll see. We'll see if those will work. Because if these will work, I could put those around the outside of the basket. But I'm not sure that color really goes with uh, the colors I was picking up today. But these do. I found these at the Dollar Tree. These little baby bandana bibs with rainbows on them. And then, that's what I was talking about. The little colorful safety pin looking things. And then I did pick up these pretty napkins. They got, for Easter time, they had some real pretty um, napkins at the Dollar Tree. And sometimes you can make things like wreaths with these or instead of using like the faux grass stuff, you can do these. So I might stick these in around in there and like stick them in between the diapers. Mm-hmm kind of to give it that puffy frilly tissue look okay that should be held on enough for now for me to start swagging it around i hope so you know i use the gorilla glue uh glue sticks normally i'm not sure about these glue sticks personally i might use different glue sticks but these come with it so i'm just using these for now Okay. Yeah, maybe like that. Okay. And I'm kind of using, like, putting it on one of those metal supports inside the um, lantern so that it's a little bit, I can put some pressure on it to hold, the, hold it to dry. Plus, I worry about this um, glue burning a hole straight through the paper. <laughs> I do not have carpet in my bedroom. And when stuff hits the floor, it vanishes just like if I had carpet. I have no idea where it bounces to, but it is gone. That happens in my craft room, and I have carpet in there, and it, things just bounce and fly, and I don't know where they go. <laughs> <laughs> You would think if you don't have carpet, though, you'd be able to see it, right? Right. Nope. <laughs> nope. Might as well have carpet in here. <laughs> okay. So that one. Okay. These things aren't evenly spaced. This ball is not evenly spaced, so that's not going to even swag right. No, you. I hope we can figure it out. We can stick them on like you did those first two. Just you know. I'm going to have to cut it and swag it, I guess, is what I'm going to have to do. It's going to have to be. Oh, just some little logs sticking all over. It'd be cute, too. Just we'll make a puff, fuzzy puffer dot with it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So now I have to do like I did with that one. Okay. And then, so it's peach, yellow, green. Blue, peach, yellow. So the next swag is going to have to like that. Okay. I guess I just didn't think it, I guess it was looking right, but I just didn't think it looked right. I'm trim this down a little bit. I'm a little OCD, so I, certain things have to look a certain way or I freak out and I have to fix it. <laughs> Some people I know can understand that too. 
Oh yeah, I've tore up whole pieces I've made. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand it. I get it. <laughs> it has to be right. I've had some people freak out. What? No, you didn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's what it is. Those puff balls needed to be even and then swag it back around. Weight of this has got to sit right there though for a second because it's pulling on. I'm going to need some more glue on there. So yeah, okay, now I'm going to have to plug it back in because now it's getting stiff. So it lasted that long. Unplugged. That's pretty good bit though, you know. Yeah, it's it's not bad. Do that. I wonder if they have any of them that are like battery operated. Where yes, yeah, so say my idea is better when it can be <laughs> charged up and last for a couple hours or something. You know. Mm-hmm. I can come out with that. That's a good idea. Put this little thing back on here. I can still work with it. You can still work with it plugged in. I was just testing out that whole. How long does it work? Unplugged thing. What did I miss in the chat? I come back and you are making a solar system collage. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm making a hot air balloon with swag. <laughs> okay, so we keep with that. Not dangling. Hmm. See, I'm gonna have to take something for it right now because it ain't working like I want it to. And it's Dwayne's fault. It's Dwayne. Yeah, we've always blamed Dwayne. <laughs> That's the easy thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it's heated back up enough. Mm, it's still stiff. Hurry up and get hot for me. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the things we said here tonight can sound really bad. You don't want I know, to right? <laughs> I think about that sometimes. I'm like, hmm, say that. <laughs> but I can't help it. Just have to excuse me. Hmm. 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 Dangle that from a chain or something. Oh, it's too late. I have to get a string, a haircut. I hope that's even. I think it is. So, like I said, I'll cover those. I'll probably cover those with some kind of little bow that I make or something to make it look cute where you don't see all that glue globbed up there but this is how the swag is coming yeah, i like it you gotta get the balls even you don't want one ball drooping further than that i like your fuzzy balls <laughs> <laughs> no droopy balls here <laughs> Let's see. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's goodness. A late night in April. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All children need to be in bed. <laughs> I always put not made for children on my videos. That's right. No. <laughs> this is true. Like that, no. <laughs> These people that asked me to do this review are gonna be like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> but like you contacted me, you said okay. you've seen my video. Like not with hot glue, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you told me you understood. This is how I do things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Huh. Uh, this type of glue strings a lot more than that other kind of glue that I have, though. My pearl won't, won't dangle right. 
Your dangle dangle won't dangle. No. <laughs> it's all stiff. <laughs> this is sounding bad. April, I see you. It's all stiff when I put it on there. It stays stiff. Right. <laughs> dangle. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let me see. See, it's getting all in all the things. I hope it makes it all the way around. I didn't even account for that, and I only bought one, so it better work. <laughs> Look at that macaroni and cheese with gold. I hate that stuff. Yeah. Oh, let me see. I'm going to put it up. In the cards. Oh, weird. It's like macaroni yeah. and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it wants to be 24 karat gold, but it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> this is plated. I don't know what. I think it's. I think it's like a, a 12 carat or something. It works with yeah. certain things though, like like your emerald and ruby colored stuff. Like if you're going for like the gym, it works with that kind of stuff because it gives it that old royal oh, kind of. The macaroni and cheese? Yeah, the macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that bugs me. Whenever I la laugh, I go into a coughing fit. Well, don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> Oh no, don't don't cry. Oh, don't do that. There we go. That one was even. Okay. Drinky stuff you. We're gonna have to use uh the gold steel because that macaroni cheese just don't cut it. Do you have any of the other the other color that you want? Well, I am gold filled. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, it's macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. Okay, Jamie. I will check out that picture. Actually, I can do it right now on my phone. I'm guessing you sent it to me on Facebook. Yeah. No, oh, if it'll load. Oh, cool. They almost look like lily pad type flowers to me. Those are neat. Those are some cool like house plant type plants for sure. I like those. I've been buying from Rio Grande for like forever, right? And then I go to find out there's one in Houston, right? Right right when COVID started. I'm like, I could drive over there. And then COVID started. I'm like, well, can't drive over there. <laughs> what company is it? Rio Grande. Oh, Rio Grande. Oh, y'all yeah. got one there? Huh? Y'all got one there? Yeah, in Houston. So, oh, well. well, which I figured it out, though, you know, then COVID started. I'm like, well, I can't go now. But I don't know if they've reopened to the public yet or not. Houston, I mean, Texas is pretty much open now, but a lot of the stores that you know, like anywhere else, it's closed, ain't reopening. Right. I mean, they're open, but they're on the internet now, so. Orange and It'd be nice if I could just drive over there, and then I could see in person what they've got. A lot easier than strolling through all this stuff on the internet. Take forever. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to go here. This string is kind of hard to cut. Yeah, I, I would like to have a soldering gun just to set up enough to like close my jump rings and different little things like that. Mm-hmm. Because it's really irritating to put stuff on here that you know, like this a, a real pearl. It's a freshwater pearl, but it's like a, a, a high grade of a freshwater pearl. And then have to use open jump rings. Which can be pulled apart and lose it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I want to solder some too. I mean, I have the torch and stuff. And, and you do it, but I've got to get the I've got to get the um the uh, little syringe that has it with the flux already. Yeah, I like that girl I was showing you. That's what I'd like to do. Just enough 
like she does, just, you know, to stick things together. I don't want to be no silversmith or anything, but, but it's nice to have a little, little bit around, to, you know, do things like that with, you know. Oh, yeah, for sure. I understand that. Let's check this out. Is this going to make it all the way back? Oh, my gosh. It. I think it might. <laughs> I hope so. It'll have to be the back side then if it doesn't. It'll have to face away from it's everything. Not going all, it's not fitting all the way around? I think it might. I hope it does. I think it's going to, but I'm not 100% positive yet. I well, think it, you could always think of something to put right where to make it meet up, like a question mark thing or something, you know, the girl or boy kind of a thing. Yeah. Or some kind of a card or something, you know, picture cut it off the, the card or something. Yeah, not, definitely. I was thinking about it because my aunt was like, well, you have a cricket. You can do like, yeah. you can do that. like a stork or something with the cricket. And I'm like, Tanya. Mm -hmm. I don't really know how to use the cricket yet that well. <laughs> I said I basically only used it about two or three times just to cut out some some shapes. But so you have a manual one, one, right? You don't you have a manual one? Uh I have the like die cutting, yeah, but yeah. I don't think I have any large die cuts that you know, I definitely didn't have a stork one, but that's what she was talking about. Like, well, if you can't find a stork, then you could do that. And I was like, well, I don't know if I know how to do it, but I could try. And I had, I just decided I didn't want to try to fool with that. Yeah, you know, I do have the um, die cutting, um, like the cuddle bug. I have that, too. Yeah. And I can cut out, like, simple shapes and things. I use it for, like, cutting out thin uh, metal shapes for jewelry making and stuff. Well, I'm finished with this one for now. <laughs> and this one has... My initial on it with a real pearl because yeah. it's the more we'll make you big so you can show it to us. Okay, okay there we go. And this one has the more expensive, it has the real pearl and then my name on it, and, and it has a, and the peacock and it has the gold filled beef. Mm -hmm. Pretty. And then this is, she can either, she can either stack them. Or wear one on each arm, whichever. So she yeah. is done. Totally. She'd be in here tonight if I could show them to her. Well, you can uh, snap a photo and send it to her, I'm sure, on Facebook or something. And Does she'll... that look okay with, with two? Because I have the one bead, big bead in the middle. I think I'm going to put two gold jump rings right there just so that they match up. Yeah, but, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, you were the one teaching me about the offset kind of stuff, and I didn't know about that kind of thing. Yeah, people have been questioning it. I'm like, well, you fix and start to see it in stores. Because yeah, and now I'm seeing it like all thing. over Instagram and everything. Yes, yeah, so. a new design. It's, it's, it's uh, the new way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Offset. Like this, it's offset. Yep. Cool. Thank you. I like being cool. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have that? Let me back that up a little bit. See how I can see that. Okay. All right. Here comes some more glue. Gloopy glue. So would you recommend that gun? Yeah, I think so. I think it's good. Like I said, I think the only suggestion I would make was maybe use like the gorilla glue 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 uh sticks or if you have your own favorite glue sticks that would fit i would probably use those because this glue is a little different than what i'm used to but you know they mix them. They, to, just to make sure i have a super hold they'll stick like a like glue stick like you're talking about and then also you know they put the like the gorilla stick on first and then you take your uh, hot glue and that way it's double glued double bonded I've seen a lot of the girls that, that does paper crafting in that one channel I go and they do exactly that. Mm-hmm. Did I not get them even or something? Do they not look even? Or is it that whole pattern of two and one hanging down that looks different? Well, they're all on the same 
I'm attaching them on the same place. I don't know. I'll have to stand back from it and look at it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to write up on it. So that goes there, and that one's going to go there. Yep, I think it just barely meets. <laughs> it just barely works out like that. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've done some things I like that. With just like two. I usually pick up two of everything just in case, but I, I didn't do it this time. Yeah, this glue, as soon as you squeeze it, this mm -hmm. stuff is very thin and runny, and that's what bothers me about it. I'm just like, I'm used to that Gorilla Glue kind of being thick. Oh, okay. Maybe it's that this one gets hotter than the other one. I don't know. Well, like I said, that might just be my preference. Not saying anything against. Is that the glue that came with it, or they got? Yeah, this is just the glue that came with it. I was gonna test it all out and see, but I do love the finger things, and they come in three different sizes, so you can put them on different fingers, and it'll fit different size fingers. Huh? That's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. And they do protect your finger. They're silicone, just like those silicone uh kitchen things. Mm-hmm. Oh Lord, here goes everything slipping and sliding and moving. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be some fidgeting with it once I get these done. Oh, I see what I did. At some point, I dropped. Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! I dropped down and I went lower. But didn't it? But didn't it like spool around and that? So as long as it looks even, does it look even when you stand back? Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. I want to see if I can stand these sticks up because it keeps sliding in the basket. Because that's all that's like a paper mache or whatever on a wire. Then it's done kind of like a uh, wire good. wrap and it's done. Yeah. Then the wires ain't gonna be completely even all the way around. Okay, so I was on that line and I kept going, but then I get back to this side and I realize it was up one. When did I drop down a line then? Hold up. Mm -hmm. All right, I started there. So this has actually got to be up. Oh my gosh. Well, I have to go through this all over again. Oh, I just tore a hole in it. I knew I would. Oh, no, don't tear don't take it apart. I have another I have another one of these, but oh. But uh wait a minute. What is it that made that one? I started there. So how in the world? It's just that last, is it just the last one? No, that one should have been up. That one should have been up. But then from this side, it looks right. I'm confused. Well, it's probably a, one piece of wire swirl around and around and around, isn't it? Is that what it is? And so that wire moves around? Yeah, and you just like... Um, if you follow in the swirl and the swirl is not going to be even. So I don't think it much matters as long as it, you know, we step away and look at it and it looks all right. If you know, it doesn't look, look even, I don't think that it's going to matter which wire it's on as long as it looks great from, you know, when you're looking at it. I'm going to stand this thing up. I think I can cover up the glue hole. Do you have to use their glue? If you try different glue, you could see if the temperature of the glue manufacturer is making the difference. Uh, no, you don't have to. You can use whatever glue stick you want. I was just using this one because it came with it, and I wanted to see how it worked with it. Um, yeah, let's see if I can't patch this up. And thank you, Heather. Thank you, Eric. But the thing was, is I was realizing that it wasn't going to meet... On this side, it wasn't going to meet right. It was like it was fine all the way around till you got back to where you started, and then it wasn't meeting up right. And I don't know why.
come in and drop it because I gotta have that little thing. Got a dangle right there. Sometimes when you walk away from something and come back to it, you, that's what happens. But yeah, and sometimes that's just what happens. <laughs> I, I, I went around looking back at it, and it's like I don't even know how it's not right. Like why this one ends up looking higher up than the rest of the ones on it. And then if you just look at like those should be should be about right but that this, like i said this is going to be the ugly side this will be the back side it's probably one of them projects you have to glue it and step back and look at it every couple lose a bit right to look straight and, and i'm not used, on it's probably hard to tell i'm not used to doing all this stuff on camera either when i'm doing these kind of things so yeah. but i'm able to cover that hole with that little pom-pom so that's good so that one just that one. That little pom pom meets that little pom pom meets, and then I got to put the little blue pom pom right there, or something. I don't know. That's weird too. I'm putting jump rings in between all the pink uh, beads, and if they want to add their own little charms to that area, you can. Okay, so I see. Okay. So those you can add more charms to those braces. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sort of thinking you just that's cool. That, those are the charm side if you want to add your own. Mm-hmm. That's on this one and a whole bunch more on that one. You want to fill it up. I am officially done now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to glob some glue on that one and just stick it right there. Oh, I think it's a cute idea to have extra jump rings. She can wear wrap some of her own stuff if she wants to. She might have a, uh, a certain charm that she likes and she can add to it. Mm-hmm. pom-pom up here and then like that. maybe I should have went with thicker dowel rods than these I have cracked this opal on this ring I broke it <laughs> Look at the things. Why they spread out so weird. I forgot about opal being so soft. This is shattered. Hold on, let me pull you up so I can see. Oh, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but this ring I just got from Jim. It shattered how? I, I don't know. I don't know when it happened, but it's cracked it there and there and it goes across. Um, oh, no. Yeah, it goes across, right across the opal. I don't know if you can see it in there. No. no, it's not picking it up on camera. Mm -mm. It's very broken. Yep. Bummer. The first one I got from him held up good. This one? Mm -mm. That's going to fall out. It's broken. Let me put it back on you. I'm just bumming. Oh. these wobbly little legs on this thing. Oh. 
I get one in and one moves the other way. <laughs> we can get it all worked out, though, so be stinking cute. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I am going to glue it to the basket because I think this will easily come off the basket. So I'm going to glue these to the basket to secure these legs. I'll do one at a time. Let them... Um, no, the other ones are tilting your way, so... Yeah, I'm putting them in the four corners. Oh, I just dropped that. I knocked it off. Yeah, I'm going to have to let one corner dry at a time. This might have been better with a um, with a low temp gun because it would have cooled faster. Yeah. And I used a hot temp gun. We got those two legs in there. Oh, no, I have to hold them till they completely dry, <laughs> and then I can show y'all what I did with the one in the front that I had tore that little hole and stuff. I just ended up putting three balls side by side to kind of cover everything and it'll have to be like more or less the it should have been more i should have turned it this way and it would have been more centered and it could have been the front of the balloon actually instead of the it's kind of focused off <laughs> there is a better way to do it but like i said this is the first one of these i've ever done before it's a prototype <laughs> yeah it's a prototype for sure <laughs> I said, oh, no, you don't want the first one. It's the prototype. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying all these supplies again. They get in the prototype. Yeah. <laughs> this was some expensive stuff. Like, individually, the things don't cost that much. I'm not saying the whole hot air balloon, because yeah. really, it was $6.99 for three of those, uh, $5.99 for the basket, I think we got the two dowel rods were a dollar because they were about 50 cents a piece. And then this garland here was only um, like $5.99 or something. So you got in like, let's see, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So just say about 20 20 21 dollars just for the setup of the hot air balloon but then all the, it was all these products and stuff you know mm -hmm. that i'm putting in it that ended up going up higher and because i was buying more things for the fact that i got to do the wreath and all that as well baby stuff isn't cheap i don't care how you look at it you know yeah. if she had went with a strictly boy or girl thing though I would have been able to get it cheaper because there's a lot more uh, stuff that you know. Like you can get a lot of a lot of discounted stuff in either strictly boy or girl. You can find better deals, but when you're trying to make it work with something that's gender neutral, that was the issue. Oh was yeah. The issue. Uh, oh, Heather, she, I hope she went to back to lay down. So glad she came and said hi. And she had to get up to come say hi. Go back to bed. <laughs> Usually she's watching from her laptop in her room. So oh, she may be in her bed. So I'm sure she's all right if she's still in there hanging out with us. 
Y'all are watching me get stressed out by messing up. <laughs> That's what happens now. <laughs> me getting stressed. All right, so we're just letting that glue do its thing. And I'm gonna have to keep playing with this side because this side then got off kilter. And I'm gonna have to stick it back up there because it's gotta get higher up again. I should have watched somebody else and how they went about it about it with the this part of it because this part of it's what's so finicky is getting the balloon up there and stuck to the rod exactly where you want it but then it wouldn't have been original uh, that's somebody else how they did it well i'm just looking at their little tips and tricks on how to hear that part of it but it, i'm not yeah. saying i've done it exactly everything exactly the way they did just how to get these dowel rods and this thing I right. you know how people are doing things all the time i don't know how to do stuff with just laying there looking at a wall I mean, you know you have to you have to get together with people <laughs> <laughs> i'm not that good at dreaming stuff up in other words <laughs> right i every now and again i get like my own original idea but a lot of times things are inspired by what i see exactly, on exactly yeah on pinterest or see on instagram or you know yeah, somewhere I, mean, I see a design in a store and i'm like i can replicate that and just put my own twist on it exactly yeah heather said you got to make a project yours that's true that's all right So this one's called the wonky air balloon. Hot air balloon. The wonky. <laughs> the wonky hot air balloon. The solar system, Dwayne said. Right, Dwayne called it the solar system. <laughs> oh. You build no solar system. I walk myself for hours. Uh oh. There goes the little finger thing. Always use protection. <laughs> <laughs> we go again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Is it are you are you set? Can I move you around now? Let's hope so. Oh yeah, like that. I would have wanted that to be right there, but there's no way I'm gonna take the chance of ripping another hole or something in it so i'm just going to leave it that way let me try to lift up the camera though so y'all can see what i did so you see how that one has three pom-poms right there in a row uh-huh that's where it met back together that's where it came back together and i would have rather like that it. centered right here in front of the basket but it's kind of off to the side but as we go around, that's how it ended up, like a little swaggy design all the way around. You can make it at the front and, and maybe add some little decoration to the two balls. That's what I'm saying. That is, that's kind of the front, but as where the basket side is, it's not directly in front of the basket side. That's where I would have preferred it to be. It's kind of offset. Oh. That's what I was saying. I wished it had... I wish the balloon was turned just a little bit more this way and then that would have lined up straight with the basket but it's kind of off centered but i'm gonna have to leave it that way or i'll end up tearing up the, the little balloon part just like that really t needs to be down the hair more you put something that would be in the front on all sides so you can't tell what's the front and so we've got um myra's idea of let me take, I'm going to cut this tag off. We're going to hang him in the middle. I took his little tags off. And he's going to hang in the middle there. With that little clippy thing that he's got. Cool. Ta hey, thank you. Aww, look <laughs> there. And see, he's got his own way to face. So that's what I meant. 
So you can have eight things facing all different directions on all sides, and it won't matter which way is the front. Right. Yeah, that's true. Let's see. I wonder if I do him like that. Yeah, he's going to want to face that way unless I take a ring. Or I can maybe bend. And you can find something else to face the other, you know, face out on the other directions. And that way it doesn't matter. I can bend that right there and he'll face. He'll face the what's kind of the front then like that. Yeah. Y'all can see that. That's the uh -huh. three poles, and he's kind of lined up with that now. Oh, we, even though it's kind of weird, it's still cute. I like it. <laughs> I do too. All right, let's see what we can do. Yeah, you can have something face outwards from each side so that it's kind of like that's the way it's meant to be. Mm hmm. Whether it's sitting down in the basket or up there or which, wherever. I'm going to cut these loose. Oh, there goes one. They really put these on that cardboard real serious like. <laughs> Take these off. I wish they didn't use these so heavily on stuff because sometimes it'll tear a hole in these little plastic tag things that they oh, yeah. adhere stuff to. Um, I could, oh, maybe, let's see, maybe tuck those in at the bottom. We got two of them. I like it. Well, thank you. I don't like this tag either. Oh, work that off. Okay. There we go. And I can put one. Okay, I got two of these. So what I'm thinking, let me see if I can get it to stay enough to show well, here. Tilt this down. I'm going to stick. I got two of these little bandana. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking I'm going to stick those one on the front and one on the back like that on the basket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, looks, oh, that, yeah that looks cute. I like that. Yeah, so I'm going to try that with those. Make sure I don't knock y'all off the uh, table here. <laughs> but let's see. What am I going to use to attach them so that I don't have to glue them? Hi, Lydia. Hi, Lydia. How are you? Let me see my little diaper cake that I'm working on. As it says, Dwayne's sitting next to him. Hey, Dwayne. <laughs> so he's he's maybe listening unless she's got her earbuds in. Okay. Um. Yeah. What to adhere these with without gluing them on? That's oh, paper clips. There you go. Do I have any somewhere? <laughs> oh yeah, I bet I do. Usually, I'd have some in here. Yeah, I got some purple ones. Let's see if I can make those work. It looks, it looks beautiful. Thank you, Lydia. I'm going to need four of those to hold those on. And I got safety pads too, but I don't hope myself with that. One more, one more. There we go. Yay. I got some coins in here. What are these coins? I'm finding stuff. I don't know. That one looks like it's 1921. Whoa. One penny. You better hold on to that. Yeah. That. yeah, that's old there. Why is it in here, I wonder? <laughs> Let me get this out of here. There's that and there's a quarter, but the quarter I bet's in here because when I take pictures, I use it as like, you know, to let people know the size of things. Yeah. Sure that's all that. Yeah, because it's just the basic quarter, but that other coin, Lord knows, I don't even know where it came from. Before Bonnie caught. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
I was trying to think of something before, before World War II. Here we go. Okay, get that centered. There's this paper clip. I hope that it holds it. There we go. And try this one. You said it's 21, 1921? Yeah, it's uh, 1921. Yeah, it's a, I've got to do some research on it. Yeah, now. This is 2021. That's not that's a hundred years old. Yeah. And I don't know anything about it. All I know it says one penny and it's in a different language on the back. I'll have to look that up. It says Georgia Georgie's De Gra Brit Um Rex Fid Def End Imp. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to Google all that because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're going to have one of those bandanas on each side. I got one on there now. And I'm just holding it with paper clips to the basket. Again, if I don't like the way that shows, then I'll just like put a ribbon and cover it up. Or do something, maybe glue one of these plastic paper clips over it to cover it up so it looks decorative and not messy or anything. There we go. Cut that off. And these are cute for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, they are. Anna, um, things. Just take off those tags there. Ooh, my grandbabies are grown up. I was, I'm not, you know, I'm getting in no hurry for my grandbabies to have babies. I need to be a great grandma. I ain't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I keep telling my kids. I said, I'm super excited to one day be a grandma, but I'm not <laughs> saying do anything too tasty because <laughs> we had that scare with colt but he you know he would have been a father but she lost the baby and uh, i was already planning then i was like oh yeah i'm gonna buy this i'm gonna buy this but i was honestly just not unhappy that it was so soon but i mean of course i was happy that I would have been a grandmother. Yeah. There we go. Got that one on. I gotta say, my my grandsons that they they uh, go to church and they're pretty uh, pretty good boys. My son raised them really good. Well, him and his wife. Mm-hmm. In, in Mississippi, so I don't think I have to worry about that. Being real sudden. So there we go. That is one adorable. Side like that. Mm -hmm. So cute. Oh, original. <laughs> is that everything you're putting on it? Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I got to stick all this stuff in here. I bought all this ribbon. I got to figure out where am I. So these, I guess I'll make the bows with them. That real sheer kind of peachy color oh yeah uh -huh. ribbon that matches kind of that orangey one up here oh yeah and it matches the color in the rainbow and it also matches the color in the blanket <clears throat> you gonna make bows and stick them on there or how are you gonna do it yeah i'm gonna probably put this one as the base ribbon and put this one over top of it oh okay yeah double them up and double them up and then that'll be like i'll go around make a little bow there bow there to cover up all the glue spots and probably you know do maybe i'll just do a big bow on the sides that will cover those paper clips so where the handles on the basket are there'll be like a larger bow there hi jennifer hey jen there she is you want me to put you on the screen yeah, I was going to show her a bracelet. There we go. She's working on your bracelets, Jen. Mm -hmm. 
and your name stamped on here with little hearts. So, um, and then this one's got my initials stamped on it, and it was a fresh water pearl. It's done with highlight and the heat keys. It's a replica of my Aunt Sally's. So that's yeah, you. are welcome. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. And it's good to see you. Thanks for coming. And we know you're she makes jewelry too, doesn't she? I think she makes jewelry. Yeah, yeah thank you. I, I don't know if I've seen any of Jen's jewelry. I need to. Where do you post it on your Facebook? So I cut off some big pieces of this one. And then I'll cut yes. off the other. She said yes. Okay, I'll check it out then. I'll go scroll in your Facebook. I'll stalk your Facebook. <laughs> I think it was Cindy that told me that you made jewelry too. I just forgot to ask her where to see it at. Sorry. Always cut my little end at an angle so that they're cute. Good night, Jennifer. Thanks for stopping in. Night. Love you, too. Thanks for joining us. I'll post up a picture on Instagram when I get it completely done. I'm probably going to have to take a little intermission for a minute. Take me a break, stand up, move around. I can't sit still for too, too long. Yeah, I'll have to just take do Don's here and then come back. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he could come sit in here, one, whichever. You can go ahead. I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna try this little bow out, and then I'll probably take me a break. Okay. Just, yeah. Hope everybody else won't take a break because I'm not really ready to quit. <laughs> no, I still got a lot to work on. I got to get this done. So tomorrow is all about making the bus happen. <laughs> I'm glad she came in. Look at these because now I can set them aside and I can. You know, contemplate on what to do next. Mm hmm. I wish I was a better bow maker. I'm not like the best bow maker here. But I'm going to do my best to Let's see. I just tie them like I tie hair bows. That's what I do. You need a finger. <laughs> Heather said she's the bow maker. Yeah, so I was just thinking, who was that that said they could make bows real good? Yeah, Heather. She said she's she's the bow maker. She can come on and show you how to do it. <laughs> yeah. I think I just don't have the patience for some of the bows that I see people do. Like, it's, it seems like it's a lot of twisting, turning, and I don't know. Says she went hopping around and it's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I got the, I added on the, uh, if you weren't in here when I did it, I got the little thing in there like you suggested. And then I put the little, the little bandana bibs on each side of the basket. Now I'm working on some bows to put on each side to help mask those uh, paper clips that's holding those on. I got I got these stones here to match this stone here, and Don goes, "It goes red hot." And I go, <laughs> "Oh yeah, they do look like little candy." <laughs> oh yeah, it's only if you want to try to eat them, <laughs> they're not going to melt in your mouth. So. Is that rhodonite? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Can you put back on you. Oh, sorry. I was twisting a bow. I'll be right back, okay? Okay.
Okay. Mm. A lot of times I'll use wire so I don't have to do this, but <sighs> yeah. Oh, I have those other things. I forgot about those too. Let's see. Y'all think these are too crazy to go with these colors? Because these are a little bit brighter. But I could stick I could stick those on the side. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. I'll put it on there. That way I won't have to tie a bow. I can just do some ribbon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. glue those on there I don't know if I want two of them on there though I don't know maybe I made an ugly one around Christmas I'll have to make a pretty one <laughs> what are my dogs barking at they see deer at night they see cats out there they see all kinds of things and they just go crazy. I don't, I think I'm going to do it anyway just because it's going to make life easier for me to glue them on here. And I can always dangle some of that other ribbon underneath them. These are also from the Dollar Tree. They're just, you know, your regular little standard ones. And I just put the glue right onto the back of that. And stick it over that, stick it to that paper clip. Is that too much? <laughs> and I have two more on the other side. Let's see. I don't know. We will see. I'm going to get two more of them. I bought like three of these. I think. That's what I did. strings and stuff I think they are too bright yeah they're bright <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> but I'm on I may just go with it because I don't glue them on here Lydia and I don't want to have to mask them with any other of my little handmade bows I'd rather just stick these on here I do have other colorful things that are going to go in the basket and stuff. So I just think I'm going to go with it. I don't stick them on there. It is bright though. I get you. You're right. It's bright. Maybe I can, um, Maybe I can trim off some of the blue. The yellow to me doesn't feel off. It's the blue that feels off. And maybe I trim off some of the blue and leave those little yellow things there. Maybe it won't be so bad. I don't know. 
I am sticking in some brighter, like little lollipop things in there too. I'm sticking some of those in there. I've got these colorful spoons that are going to go in there and stuff. So maybe that'll kind of pull it all together. We'll see how we feel once it fills up. Um, where am I at now with it? Hmm. Yeah, let's start sticking some of this stuff in here and see how it works out. Got these little spoons. Stick those around. Just sticking them right down in the center of these little diapers. And then we've got like the, the little shampoos and things. Let's see. <clears throat> I'll put that one back like that. Okay. So now. Now I've done this and stuck the spoons kind of in there like that. Um, I need to get some of the bigger things. Where's that little pouch? I covered everything with. Uh... Plus, I do have these little napkins here, too. So I bought these napkins at the same time I bought those, but they're really not the same color. This is more of a aqua and these are more of a mint. But, <clears throat> I mean, it's so colorful that I feel like it can work. <laughs> Let me see if I'll stick in some of these in here and see what that does. Like I said, I may just cut, because those will come off around it. I may just cut those off and then work with the ribbon that I actually have that is more of a softer color. And take those off of there maybe put some of the other ribbon around it and just do the same kind of design but with the ribbon around the yellow center and then it'll take away from that bright bright color because that yellow works i think the yellow works because even though that's not the same color yellow i still think it it works how do you get into these napkins Oh, Kathleen, you're back. Let me unmute you. I just muted your line. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm making noise in the way. <laughs> <laughs> the stones are so too much of a different color. This looks more of a color of a chameleon than it does. Uh, I can't. I can't think of how to say that. It's not roller night. It's the other one. Rotocrosite? Yeah. Okay. That's what these are. But look at how different the colors are. The, the, the beads are rotocrosite, but the pendants rotonite? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I don't know. So these little napkins, you can roll them up if you do them right, and they'll look like little roses. I'm trying to figure that out. Or you can fan, kind of fan them. Let's see. Not just fan them and stick them in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'll put them there for now. That ain't making me happy. Uh. See, I bought all this stuff and I ain't gonna, I don't think I'm gonna end up fitting it all in here. So that's brighter too, and that might play more into that as well. Yeah. Trim that thingy off. Stick that in the back. This, that's things like these, these spoons and stuff. A lot of times I buy things like this and the bottle brush. Because when you stick it down in there, it's like a support. 
that holds things up. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's like I'm sticking that little bag where it will be supported by those spoons. And then I've got the bottle brush, so I'll stick it in the back. It'll be the backup to hold that in there. So there we go. It's gonna be cute. Stinking cute. Stinking cute. <laughs> Isn't that Cindy's little thing? Stinking cute. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So this is what we're looking like right this second. Oh city. my goodness. <laughs> And like Lydia said, those bows are a little bit bright, but that's what I was telling her. I could cut off the the blue, but I don't think the yellow is really that bad, even though it's very bright. If oh, instead, I if I instead, it's like, oh, it's baby. It's, everything is so colorful. It's like the rainbow. Isn't I could use this bright? ribbon around it if so, and I know that's kind of that's kind of how I was feeling to start with, but now I got that little thought in my mind that maybe it ain't right but I didn't want to have to make the bow the bow was getting on my nerves I'm going to have to make some little ones though because they're going to have to go around yeah. up there to cover that glue but yeah I'm still happy with it for now let me stick these like that stick that thing in there Move this one up a little bit. Get that in there like that. And here's some more bright yellow to go in there. Yeah, you can't make everything all the same color. You know what I mean? It's not going to look right. I mean, the theme's rainbow, so color, color everywhere. Mm. It supplies. You know, you can't have supplies a <laughs> color tone. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the little pacifiers. I just love the little pom poms up there on top, though. <laughs> it just makes it pulls everything all together. It doesn't even matter. When I saw them, I was like, "Those are the cutest little colors. I like yeah. them." It's gonna pull all that together. And yeah, I can put those over there somewhere. This little bottle there, that little bottle here. There's our little Lysol spray on the go. I thought that's got to be useful for when your kids touch things and you you're like, "Ooh, put that down! Don't don't put that in your mouth." So you get the Lysol spray, especially with the coronavirus and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> You'll keep everything sanitized. <laughs> get all those suckers out of the way. Oh, look, I see I got some uh, chameleon and it matches the chameleon. Oh, wow. Perfect match. Let me see what you got this perfect match. Oh, those look good together. Yeah. Yeah, that might the best this thing open and then uh I'll just sound like I have the colors that match it. Let's see you and that baby stuff. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So don't think I have room for some of this other stuff. So these, these things like the rags and the blanket and that to-go pouch that has like little lotions and things in it, I think all that's going to end up on that wreath that I've got to make for her. Yeah, or you can put it in a, in a uh, gift bag or something. Yeah. Well, I got to do the wreath anyway because they want one that goes on the door of the house. Oh, okay. So, yeah, and she wanted something that was cohesive, I guess, with it or whatever. Which, it may not have that many products on it. 
it may just be more about the announcement or something. Because, you know, we got to figure out, is it going to be a boy yeah, or anything? Don't blend in with your little pom poms. Put on your wreath. <laughs> <laughs> Try these. We're down to three watchers. Thanks for hanging in there with us, you three watchers. Yeah, we appreciate it. <laughs> we were all by our lonesomes. All right. Well, no. Let's see. That might kind of cover things up. I didn't know Camille came in so many different colors, but I guess that's why it's got that name, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Here. Oopsie. I'm going to stick it like that. Mm -hmm. We use blue, yellow, and we're going to use green and so I'm just really into what I'm doing too, right? Yeah, it's okay, me too. I just keep looking up and make sure I missed any comments in the chat. That's the only thing I was. Don't want to get too deep into myself that I'm not looking. <laughs> Nobody. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I love to learn. Me too. Uh, first couple times, well, it probably was a couple times. Done, probably done that a couple times. Went live by myself. Mm -hmm. She was one of the first people coming. Hey, how are you doing? And it was so sweet to me. With Lydia. Yeah, Lydia's so sweet. And I was so happy because I was so lonely and didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done it too much since, neither. <laughs> I'd rather go on with somebody than do it by myself. That is so awkward. So I'm taking those little suckers out of the package and seeing if I can fit them in. This is what I did now. What you did? Corners, I glued those little safety pins Aww. for decoration. I put a couple of suckers in there too. I'm trying oh, to see. Oh, look. That looks cute. Yeah. So I got different color little safety pins at yeah. every corner. Away from the back of the stuff, that's adorable. 
<laughs> there you go. Yeah, I like that. It's perfect. Thank you. I like it. That's what I'm saying. I know those bows stood out to start with, but once you put all that colorful stuff in there, yeah, kind of you, don't, you really don't need them, really. These are suckers are so like good. A, are you going to wrap it in a cellophane like that, like an Easter basket, or are you just going to leave it open? Yeah, I don't wrap it. Oh, okay. I don't do it like the Easter baskets, yeah. I'll leave them open. Is that good? <laughs> this sucker is so good, I'm smacking. Yeah. <laughs> They're good. They're sour, but not real sour, just kind of lightly. Sour apple candies. I just, oh my goodness, I just love those. <laughs> I'm choking on it a little bit. Slow down. I can choke on the water, though. That's the thing. It gets me to salivating so much that I start choking on my own slobber. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> <Nut>. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I think it's adorable. It's a winner. It's a keeper. I just need, like I said, I just need to add those ribbons around the top. But I need a break before I go and sit here and make ribbons and everything. Okay. But, um, yeah, uh, you're still working on something, aren't you? I'm just, yeah, I'm just uh, separating colors here. See what okay. works. If you can keep up with everybody and let them know that I'll be right back, I'll, I'll be okay. right back. <laughs> I'll run everybody off. I mean, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't run nobody off me before. <laughs> and then once I get the bows added, um, then I should be done and I'll show a whole overview of it. But I'll also take some good pictures that I can put on Instagram and then everybody can check them out on Instagram. Yeah, and some people will probably watch this too, you know. Mm hmm A little bit of it anyway. Let's get to it and see how your project comes out. I will be right back. Okay. I'm going to mute my line until I get back. You still here, Heather? Or do you go to bed? Well, glad to see you, Lydia. Hope you're still here. We just hanging. She got stuff to do, and and I'm just uh, doing company with her. Oh, good. I hope you get to better, feeling better soon. Hey, uh. Start to call you April, Heather. I miss crafting with you. I wish you would do some more craft shows where you just come on private with us when you get better. Okay. We just we stay up late sometimes because we sleep in late. <laughs> I have a hard time sleeping sometimes at night, so I don't get to sleep three in the morning. I'll get up to nine or ten. That's that's seven six hours, you know. So we don't go to sleep for three or four in the morning. That's Oh, yeah, you missed it, too. I'm just picking out stones that will match this. Because the kind of stone it is, I bought stones to go with it, and they don't match. <laughs> it matches the chameleon better. 
And then I've got chameleon that don't actually really match the chameleon. Not, not my thing. Okay. Uh, like that don't look like chameleon. There's one piece that matches this one. I can't say the name of that. April had to tell you. I have a problem with pronouncing and spelling things. I'm so dyslexic. So I get really embarrassed over that. So it just means I, I don't, you know, my mind just don't work the same direction. It's, it's supposed to wire different. Hmm, that's some really pretty stone. What are you guys doing up this late? Still early, pretty much where you're at, I guess, Heather, on the other side of the coast. I hope you're in bed, Heather. I could have swore I had that crap, not just past February, but in 2020 February. Oh my God, that was bad. I couldn't cough hard enough. I couldn't take a big enough breath to take to make myself cough hard enough. It was horrible. I had never felt like that in a fever. Oh my gosh. I kept saying I know I already had COVID, but they did wasn't able to test for it back then. Have they ever been sick since then? They never done anything. So I've got to figure out how to get test. I mean, you know, vaccinated, I guess. I don't know how that works if you think you've had COVID and then go get a vaccination on top of it. Like a two week clash. I don't even know. So I've been kind of a little leery about running and getting the vaccine when I think I've already had it. But anyway, we won't make that a subject about tonight. I'm just concerned for you, Heather. Oh, I don't know how she didn't make me. How to, I don't know, listen, if I can do it, she's the leader of the. She's the leader. Of the chat, you know, of the, uh, the live. So I don't think I can do it. She has to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, you're welcome, Heather. Poor thing. Heart goes out to you, sweetie. And then the rest of your family, too. I know all you guys are sick. Well, I hope you're doing okay, Lydia. Hope you're all good and well and safe. And your little family. Okay, April. She's listening, y'all. She's, she's watching. <laughs> she's spying on us. <laughs> she only pretend like she ain't here.
Oh, okay. <laughs> we know you're spying, April. <laughs> well, I hope he's able to do it. Don't you tell him not to be pushing it, you know? You don't want to relapse that crap. That was the deal with me back in 2020, February. It just wouldn't go away. I had to go to the doctor twice. It's like, it's just like some kind of monster just latching on to you and let go. I'm sick, whatever I had. Anyway, right, well, I hope he's able to do it and he stays okay. <laughs> Duane. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Okay. Dropper. You have a request from uh, Lydia for us to make you bigger so we can see you and see what yeah. you're working on. Look at all the pretty beans. Yeah, look at that. Uh, that was a pretty good match, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. like that combination. That's gorgeous yeah. together. And that's a, this is like your chameleon. very matches. <laughs> yep, that one goes good with those. Yep. So I'm just... Uh, Sort and beans and see what matches what. Well, we're going to watch you for a minute while I see if I can diddle with these bows. Okay. Yep, maybe, I just, so. maybe just make them hangy ribbons so I don't have to make bows. Okay. <laughs> so here's if y'all can see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and match up all these beads to their, their partners. I think that's a good idea while I've got it all out here. Let's <laughs> get over there. Some of these are just really, really orange. Kim, she said, Oh, hi, Kim. Yeah, Kim joined us. I'm okay. How are you? Oh, did I put it backwards? What did I do? No, I didn't do that. <laughs> I was thinking I glued something on backwards, but I didn't. It's just that the ribbon flopped over the other if way. If you put yourself up there, you better do it. We want to see what you're talking about. Oh, well, she was wanting to see what you were working on. Well, we didn't see what I was doing. It's pretty boring. Let's see what you're talking I'm about. Drink. Okay, I'll come back. It's where I'm... Okay, like I said, I'm trying to cheat without doing any kind of bow for real. Oh, you're a cheater now. So I'm trying to stick ribbon and then maybe just like glue a kind of a bow and like let it, I might let it hang. I'm not sure. Okay, you're going to let it hang, Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> let it all hang out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to need another glue stick. Time to feed the glue machine. <laughs> well, as hot as that thing is, it probably goes through a lot of it too. Yeah, that's the thing about the the higher temperature ones. They sure do. They go yeah. through glue really quickly. Okay. Ow! Ow! Hot! Hot! You see it? Mm -hmm. What you think? Yes, that's all he ever says. That's nice. <laughs> okay. That's hi, Tyrone. Kathleen said hi, Tyrone. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> He's probably in there watching some auction or something. Oh. He's not playing a game? Um, maybe not right now. I don't know. <laughs> Dwayne wants to know which one I'd Mercury. Huh? Oh, which one is Mercury? Ha ha, Dwayne. He's still talking about the planets over here. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, a oh, solar system. <laughs> yeah, the solar system. Oh my goodness. Let's see. We're going to put you on Mars, Dwayne. 
just note that. <laughs> They're long, maybe too long. Why did I have to get you out of whack? <laughs> Why are you not perfect? I was just looking back at the picture she sent me of the napkins and plates and everything and it said something about sent from above so I guess that and hot air balloon kind of works together too uh. that little theme but it was like I said it's a picture of a stork holding a baby oh, and, okay. but the writing's all in like rainbow letters I couldn't find a stork so I like the rainbow <laughs> anyway <laughs> and I still get, you know, could be boy, could be girl from this. It doesn't say strictly girl or boy. It doesn't scream just girl or anything like that. I don't know how I'm feeling about the ribbon there. I only got it one spot, but I got to cover the glue spots. It has to be something there. Maybe it should have just been this thin ribbon, though, not the other ribbon. I don't know. We'll keep working with it, and I'll like it or hate it, one or the other. Uh, this is the stone you gave me. Uh, April. I'm putting the well, let me see what we got. Do, do are you oh, yeah, the, um, right carnelian. Uh-huh. And so I'm putting like all the oranges there. And then look here, it goes it really goes most of that goes with this one. And mm -hmm. uh, then I'm putting the really red looking ones with this donut. So I'm about running out of them. But that's did, you, did you like your uh your um uh, bumblebee? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. I've got plans for it because I've got I've got uh, two other bumblebees. They mirror each other. And mm -hmm. then, so now this one makes a third. So now I can make a whole set with it. Cool. So, That's yep. good. So I, I want to dig them out. So uh, like this could be the sky or better yet, I could make like a tree with it. And let oh, that be yeah. the sky. Like have a fire fire in the sky. Mm -hmm. so I'm trying to figure out I'm contemplating and trying to decide which way to turn it to make a tree on it. So mm -hmm. I'm it's going to be a tree. And then I have two other bumblebees. It's, uh, a little bit smaller than these, but they're they, they all yellow with like a black stripe to the middle. Yeah, that one didn't have a whole lot of black in it, but it does have a little bit up at the top. Yeah. So I just got to figure out which is going to be the sky and which is going to be the ground. So I'm thinking have a fiery sky like like the, the savannah, like Africa, you know, or something, they have the tree part up here. Mm -hmm. The ground. So that's what I'm thinking. So it'll be a pendant. Cool. Yeah. So that's what my plans are. All right. I've been, been stinking on it. <laughs> Hi, Raven. How are you? Hi, Raven. Thank you. I think I need another one of those. Oh, well, that's the end of that roll. That's why at the Dollar Tree you buy multiple rolls of ribbon because it's not that long. They do have, like that one Dollar Tree we have around here has some of the really cool crafty supplies. All my Dollar Trees here in Houston are nothing but junk. Some oh, of them, maybe, like, maybe we have a couple was, around huh? here. Go ahead. We have, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was going to say a couple of ours are like that too. Oh, okay. But this particular one over there where I was at today, that's the good one. <laughs> that's the one that gets all the, the good craft stuff. Oh, okay. 
And I've seen on TikTok other people, they have Dollar Trees that have even more than what my Dollar Tree has. So I guess it just, it's a regional thing or something that some of them carry more than others do. I guess in the, in the chat, you know, you guys, you can let us know, does your Dollar Tree get not so many good craft supplies or do you have a pretty good Dollar Tree in your area? Well, if they're franchised, that would make sense, right? Because then the people pick out their own stuff for their own store. If they're not franchised, then they can be all like, right? Have I got that right? I, I'm not I sure. That's how it goes. I know that you can go on their um, website and you can order things in like bulk from them. And they have, I guess their website would carry anything that they carry, but not sure how that works. I just know that some are bigger than others and some have more stuff than others out of the ones that I have in my area. Raven said she had a migraine, decided to stop in and say hi, nice and mellow in here. Well, that's good. Aww. Yeah, we're kind of quiet, just working on stuff, chatting every now and then. Yeah. Yeah, well. I may shorten those up. I don't know if they're too long or they're not too long. Almost an even pile that I've come up with. So. Some of these look like, uh, well, I guess it could be related. No, with the carnelian and stuff, yeah, I think they're kind of in that same family of stone. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> too much, too much. <laughs> You'll get to see the weird side of me when I'm crafting. I talk to myself and oh. I went camera I'd probably be screaming at something. <laughs> here we you so you're not a <laughs> <laughs> Oh that's some pretty stuff. Oh uh, yeah I've had this strain of stuff for a year and I was just was sitting around. I, I didn't realize how pretty it was until I started playing with it tonight. Right. <laughs> I got to get in there and decide what, a, what do I really, what am I really going to do something with and what can I just, you know, get rid of? What can I sell in the craft sale or whatever? Because I just, I have more stuff than I don't think I could ever get anything made with. Inspiring. <laughs> yeah, that really inspire you. But then as soon as you get to making something, you're like, oh, if I still had this or if I still had that. <laughs> You know what's weird? I'll get something, I'll go, well, that's like the least prettiest thing in there, and it'll be the first thing I make something with. <laughs> <laughs> and it just turns out like there's nothing I planned. You know, I'm like, what am I going to do with that? And I'll be thinking about that, and it'll be the first thing I grab, and I'll make something, and it'll turn out gorgeous. And so I never try to put anything down because you just never know. Yeah. You never know. Like that little that thing I made for Easter, you know, it had a mark on it. I'm like, what am I going to do with that? How could I cover it up? It ended up being a really pretty necklace. So just trying to figure out how I'm going to cover up a mark that was on there. It looks like a a, a permanent marker mark, mm -hmm. but you can't see it. And it looks pretty. Was it like from Mr. Jim or something where they do write on it? Because yeah, it was a gift from someone else, but. Because yeah. I know somebody was telling me, like, with the permanent marker when they write on the stone, that you can get that off with, like, acetone. Oh, okay. Well, it do, may come do off. Do think it's magic marker or something? Yeah, it might come off with some acetone. <clears throat> hmm. 
So for any of the new guys joining the hot glue gun that I'm using, I'm doing a review on that in this video while I make this. It's made by Monvict Glue Gun. You can get it on Amazon. Um, and you can plug it in, let it heat up, take the cord out and use it for, what would you say? I used it for about 15 minutes before it started to cool. Yeah, it seemed like that like that. Yeah, it seemed like about 15 minutes and then it starts to cool off. So you can use it cordlessly, you know, for short intervals. And I think it's pretty cool. I was telling everybody I kind of like my um, Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks better than the ones that came with it. But they do give you a bag of glue sticks with it and you get the little finger condom things to protect your <laughs> finger. Yep. like three of those in different sizes and they have the little knobby texture things on them too and they do work i had that on my finger earlier but i guess i'm just so used to using my finger that i just use my finger yep your finger. and when the video ends i'll go back excuse me i got indigestion i'll go back and add in the link if anybody's interested in getting one of those We're pretty lightweight, but it is a it's a big one, but it's not heavy. It has a nice base that stands up. It doesn't topple over. I know some of them will topple over on you. And it's got a nice like tip on the end too that's more precise than like the other one that I have. Okay, I'm going to get some baggies because I've got my colors all done. they all sorted out now. Finished. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty, the way they turned out, the way I sorted them. Mm -hmm. Are you going to make a necklace with the rhodochrosite? I mean, the... Uh, um, yeah, yeah. The row, yeah, I say it right. The rest of this is Canadian, but yeah, yeah, the road of good side. That's the name of it. I can't, I get rotocrosite and roto. What's the other one? <laughs> I can't remember the other one. <laughs> I know, I can't remember the other Rodenite. one. Rodenite? That's rodenite. Yeah. And then the one with the black in it is rotocrosite. No, rotocrosite. This is the one, rotocrosite. And the road nights one with the black. Is it the other way around? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. They're both beautiful stones, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Get it in. I wonder if I'm going overboard, but <laughs> that is me. I can do that sometimes. Okay. But like I said, I had to put something there to cover the hot glue gun, the hot glue up. So I must do this. And I don't want to make those. Let's me read the chat. Oh, good night, lady. I missed that. Dang. Uh, my husband had a stroke March 12th and was in a and then in rehab about four weeks total. This is his first week home. Praise the Lord. He's making progress. That's good to hear, Kim. I'm, I'm glad that he's home and doing better. His That's left side was affected. Gratefully, he was thinking, okay, yeah. How, how does your husband... That's one of those things that's scary. You never know when something like that could happen. Yeah, right. I mean, like, sometimes there's just no telltale signs of anything. Me and Don were talking about that yesterday. He said, 
he said, I can't remember who it was he's talking about, but he's like, some guy was telling his story, and I don't think it was in person, I think it was something he'd seen on, online or something. Mm -hmm. and he got shot. He almost died, but he didn't. But being shot saved his life because then they found cancer inside of him. If he hadn't been shot, they would have never known until it was too late. Right. Yeah. And they that's the same. You know, things like that happen. <laughs> and it's just the crazy stuff that can happen like that. Like when I had my gallbladder uh, attack recently, and I had no clue. I'm like, I don't, I didn't know anything was wrong with my gallbladder. But yeah. then I'm, I'm in this like horrible pain and freaking out. I'm like, I got to go to the hospital. And then I have to have emergency surgery. And I didn't know. I mean, I didn't know anything was, I mean, I should have gotten some kind of warning, right? <laughs> I had no warning. <laughs> That's pretty weird how that stuff happens out of the blue like that. Yeah. Right into surgery next day. Yeah. And then they find out that I have diverticulitis yeah. with it. Which that's good to know because with that happening, that can progress into like leaky gut and those things can rupture and then you can have real bad problems. So now I know to be mindful of certain things like caffeine and, uh, you know, eating more fiber and stuff like that to prevent that from happening. Okay, let's see. So I got little tasselly thing hanging down now but it's weird how we were just talking about that yesterday you know mm -hmm. but that's nothing happens <laughs> hope nothing else happens to anybody i know right so that's kind of what it's looking like around the top with the little ribbons hanging down thinking cute <laughs> <laughs> And like I said, that was supposed to be centered in front, but it didn't work out so much that way. But so we kind of off centered this guy so that he kind of sits in front. Yeah. And if y'all want to see any of the other uh, diaper cakes I've ever done before, I'll put those. I usually put them on Instagram. I'm pretty sure they're on Instagram or Facebook somewhere. So I have to scroll back to some older posts. And so those are softer colors. That those are definitely softer colors. And uh, I don't know. Those are still kind of bright, but this is a little bit brighter. And that's this is the bottom. So I have those I love crazy them bows. Got the crazy bows there. They're to help cover up the safety. The safety pin, I mean, not the safety pins, the paper clips that are holding these little bandanas on. Because you have to do things that aren't like permanent so that they can take all the things off. And I love them flowers on the side. I love them. You do? Yeah. I'm a little still iffy about them, but I'm, I, I'm like, well, there's yellow, there's yellow, there's yellow, there's yellow, and they're brighter. And I know that's all pastel -y and soft. And Everybody this tells me you have a good eye, and I'm telling you that looks good. And I mean it. I'm not just saying it. I love the flowers on there. The last thing is to cover up the glue that attached the sticks to the hot air balloon. Let me tell you, you don't want your eyes to be drawn to something with a bunch of writing on the back. And then real pretty bright flowers draw your eyes to it and away from things that you know had the writing on it and stuff that's not so attractive so mm -hmm. you your eyes away from that and all you see is the colors you right you see the colors in the basket and the flowers they stand out they grab you in the pom-poms they grab you and so you're not just you know you don't have like a bunch of wording on the back with directions that's grabbing you you have all these other colors that say hello hello <laughs> right <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad Myra suggested that I put that in the middle because that's cute. Yeah, that was a fantastic idea. So maybe I can put these, I can put some paper clips up here too, the plastic paper clips to cover my little glue globs. Yeah. 
and do that. Like I'm it. telling you, I am so desperate not to have to make a bow. I don't want to make any more bows. <laughs> <laughs> no, no bows. No bows. Are these even the same size? I had some from one I did for her before. Yeah, they're the same size. So I've got different more colors down in here. Does that look good with like a gold color wire? Let's see. It's just, it's just a piece of scrap that I'm just wrapping across there to see what it would look like. Yeah. And they're saying that gold is going to be like more popular this season than like silver tone. Okay. So that, yeah, looks, I think that looks good. Okay. And two, if I had wanted to go through the, the excruciating pain, but if you're making one, this is something I think would look cute too is taking some of that washi tape and you could wrap these sticks with washi tape as well to give them a, another like layer of fun or whatever. Cause like there's all kinds. Oh like, yeah. That would be a good idea. Yeah. You could wrap those sticks with that kind of stuff or you could wrap them with ribbon, I guess as well. But washi tape's easy to work with. I like things that are easy to work with. So, yeah, let's put blue and blue and yellow and yellow and do it that way. Keep it the same color on each stick. You know I wire wrap things a couple of times and undo them before I actually come up with design. Yeah. Well, that's your that's your method. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow. Move those out of the way. So I don't get any glue on it. Y'all think I should shorten those ribbons or that? The length of those ribbons are all right. They don't go all the way down to the bottom of the basket or anything. I think I want to use this method. That method I taught you with the uh, oh yeah, the, the weird weird hurricane weird. thing in the middle looks like a hurricane. Yeah. Right, Sleep well. Night. I gotta remember to add this to the craft with me series on my channel. These are fun to play with though, these little plastic things from Dollar Tree. They've got the little buggies and all that kind of stuff, but they only have those in like pink or blue. But these they had in uh, you know, all the colors. I call them buggies, but I mean like strollers, little plastic strollers. So when I go hammer this, I'll mute, I'll mute myself, okay? Okay. Yeah, pink on this one. Thanks, Raven. James, Don's having an allergy fit in there. Yeah, I hear him. <laughs> you can hear him? Oh, my God. He's <laughs> <laughs> coughing. He's sneezing and coughing. Oh, my God. He's talking about dying there. <laughs> when I sneeze, I can sneeze like that, too. I can sneeze like 10 times sometimes. Can I go check on him? <laughs> I mean, I guess if you feel like this. this is 
Breathe in, breathe out. Tell them breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> <laughs> and as long as he can do that, he's all right. <laughs> Okay, maybe we can do some more lollipops in here. I'll leave these in the maybe leave these in the plastic. I don't know. I like these lollipops. I kind of want to eat them and keep them to eat. They're good. I always get the kids like those really large ones that look like this, but they they never end up eating the whole thing. And my son can devour some candy. He loves candy. He's a tiny little thing, but he eats some candy. So I had leftover wash rags, that little bag, all that stuff. Yeah, it's just going to be extra. He's still coughing. I'm on a hammer now. I'm back again. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have a clue that those bandanas were going to work out like that, but I really love the fact that I found those. Because they do look cute on the basket. Yay! It's done. Oh, I can eat this one. Because I'm not going to leave those open. I thought I was going to leave them open. I'm not. Mm -hmm. Goodness. You okay? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I'm breathing. I'm good um, reading. <laughs> yeah. I had opened these and I stuck them in the back, but I said I'd take them out. So I'm going to eat one. I'm going to go give Tyrone the other one. Okay. <laughs> now I put two up here in the front, but I didn't take them out of the plastic. And I think I'm done. You're done? Okay. All right. I'm still just making hurricane looking thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot I had pipe cleaners too, but they're not pastel -y pipe cleaners, so I don't think they would have worked. Oh, yeah, you can make like a stripe with them going up the gills. Mm hmm. See if I can get a good view of that's the way it's going to look. Like I said, I'll put some pictures up on Instagram and Facebook. You can get a good view of it, but. I'm happy with it. You finished? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that's finished. Okay. As far as the hot glue go, gun goes, I recommend it. I like it. Works good. Stands up good. Oh, it has that little on and off switch. So you can turn it off like that too. Um, I would suggest you can use the glue, gun, glue sticks that come with it, but you might like the Gorilla glue ones are better than I like those. But yeah, and I like the little rubbery things because that keeps your fingers safe. And, and you, like I said, you got a couple of other a couple of other sizes that come in there. There's three of them in there. There's like I guess that's for like maybe your thumb. Oh or yeah. different size fingers and stuff. And like your ring too. And like my ring. Yeah, oh, that was something I bought today when I was out shopping and I was looking for all this stuff. I found that and I was like, yep, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only one in the case and it was a size nine. And I was like, yes. That's meant for you. Oh, meant for me. Yeah. You got shopping like that and run across something like that. It's meant for you. <laughs> you didn't have to pay shipping or nothing. Mm -mm. Um, no. Well, I appreciate everybody that hung out with us and chatted with us and watched my little process. Um, 
Again, if you're interested in the glue gun, check back tomorrow on this video and I'll have the link and everything in the description. But I think I'm going to call it a night and I will talk to y'all next time. Ooh, Kathleen, you can, hang, you can hang on and we'll still be able to chat afterwards. Okay. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming. Bye.